<coughs> bad day <coughs> very sorry bad day since i am suffering from a cold i just came back to bangalore from kerala and my house had accumulated some dust so <coughs> little bit of uh, uh, starting trouble very fun day today i had uh, in trading i mean i i just traded because i was really bored and i'm not bored but i i, I thought i'll just chuma take a trade for fun uh i really don't know why i did that because i had just squared out everything at 16 800 and i thought ki chalo let's not trade again but then i had to take trade again because you know this is not a it's a very good uh, it's a very bad problem you know this uh, uh, trading addiction <laughs> but anyway let's get started with today's uh, analysis on nifty uh, before that let's look at what we said yesterday we were uh, i mean th- this was a pretty straightforward expiry to trade except those moments of intense panic it came in between uh 7300 and below is a support zone which it did it indeed proved to be 7500 is a resistance zone which it indeed proved to be uh, expiry likely to be 7300 is what i said yesterday but when it went <coughs> below 7200 for a second i was like boss aaj to bahut badnami hogi but uh, but luckily for me it came back uh so now we have a super interesting setup in nifty right so there is a gap in nifty if you have been observing it and we talked about that gap yesterday also and that gap is after 13th april candle there's a small gap tiny window right uh this is uh 17400 to 17450 zone and we can say that this is a little bit of a uh gap now today the candle which was formed is technically technically this is a hanging man right because it's at the top of an uptrend and it's a red bodied candle uh so it is a potential that it could signal some reversal right in in on paper in theory and if you also look at this candle and this is thanks to analysis from you i forgot <coughs> his name i'm so sorry ha raj raj prasad raj prasad gave a very interesting <coughs> trend line and this trend line is showing that it broke out momentarily and came back see all of this is fine right technical analysis trend line ye wo 200 dma blah 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 but tomorrow's rbi policy so please don't gamble uh, ideally you should not have overnight positions today uh, and <coughs> you know kasam se i don't have overnight positions today i squared out everything today and i happily went home so uh ideally you should not have overnight positions today but for the sake of academic interest and to improve our game let's try to just predict the market ki kal kya hoga right see ultimately we also need to be good at kal kya hoga and we also need to know what will happen tomorrow when rbi policy ka directional movement comes so with that objective and not for trading per se let us analyze what is likely to happen tomorrow right <clears throat> so number one chart chart is clearly saying that there is some kind of a resistance here now if tomorrow's close happens below today's uh, uh, close then the hanging man is confirmed and that it could trigger some negativity but if tomorrow's open happens above today's open right then this candle is invalidated what candle is invalidated the hanging man candle with top at around 17450 ish is invalidated if tomorrow's close happens above today's open so uh, if it is invalidated we can have one last leg of movement all the way till 17 what's this number 700 maybe but i wouldn't want to play for this right like see ideally i would short calls and start sitting on it right now for the simple reason that yaar this is just a another how much is it it's just 200 200 300 hundred points left in nifty maybe i don't want to chase that last 300 points and get in trouble maybe i'll wait a little bit if i get 17 700 price i'll definitely try to short it but i don't know if i want to play for this last leg movement especially because today's candle can be a hanging man also right so and then there is a of course there is apna hero rbi coming today so 7600 pe there is a resistance i don't want to gamble and you know maybe 7600 7650 types pe there is a this thing right 
Bodo is asking China fire missile near Japan Taiwan good for India or bad for India boss it's bad for the whole world uh, we are not isolated from the rest of the world so it's a very tricky thing uh, the world economy is com- connected so uh, now this is the uh, daily candle right so daily candle very simple thing uh, if the gap is breaks if the gap is filled <coughs> and it sustains above 17470 7450 plus then we can see 7700 coming <coughs> if close is below thursday close then potential downside this is the first thing right now if you look at option chain this is only day one but so early to say but nevertheless 7500 has a strong support resistance 17000 has a strong resistance support right so 7500 17000 is the zone but this is only day one day one and event risk is there so no point in looking at it right again same goes for pcr we don't look at pcr on a thursday pcr becomes important only after monday right now let's look at fi data fi sold calls and sold puts today but of course they sold i mean even steven uh, they sold 800 crore futures today which is interesting so i would say that this is bearish the other thing is neutral the option thing is neutral right and uh, stock data bought 1500 crores that is bullish of course bullish but my verdict is this right <coughs> don't trade till policy is over and watch the gap if market sustains above today's high <coughs> then further upside is possible if <coughs> market cannot go above today's close then downside possible why because of that hanging man pattern we saw right and the trade is this right here q karoge aap aapko q trade karna hai is mahal mein because there is an rba policy coming it's it's pure gambling to trade at this uh, situation in this situation right bank nifty interesting chart today it tested this so this is the thing right if you had followed this uh, trend line you can easily see that bank nifty's low today was around this trend line and it took support there and it went up further so bank nifty is uh, taking support but today's candle is a bullish engulfing sorry bearish engulfing although there is a rejection wick here but technically technically the tiny body is engulfed by the red body so i'll be a little cautious on bank nifty but here again right before even ds sets up technical big technical dekhna thoda bekar hai unless the technical is very strong finally looking at usd inr usd inr formed a uh, so domestic and uh, 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 sorry domestic and overseas are two different uh, uh, candles so uh, dollar is uh, dollar is looking strong actually despite the fact that this is looking like a uh, shooting star right it is not really if you look at a domestic candle you will see a very different thing so now my question is this right so <clears throat> so let me just see if there's a usd in our futures yaar galat baat galat baat usd in our nsc CDS Futi no they don't have it okay <clears throat> so if you ask me to put if you put me on a gun point and ask me to do a trade my trade is dollar long right i don't want to do uh, short dollar now i don't i i really don't want to play with nifty now because i think there's a there might be a last 300 point upside but i'll just say one more thing sindhu had given me an interesting analysis today sindhu vadva so sindhu vadva's analysis is that if i connect this low and this low then it's a very different channel system we are looking at 
and according to Sindhu's channel. And I see merit in his argument, right? Because if this, but it's just that the other thing fits more because there are more number of points. But Sindhu's argument is that, boss, if you look at this as the channel system, then we are already looking at the top of the channel and perhaps this is the place to shot. Maybe he is right, right? It, it's a high, very high prob probability that what Sindhu is saying is very right. So yes, I would also <coughs> give credence to that. But basically, right, at this point, I don't see a point in long nifty i mean i want to short nifty but thoda i want to see where to short nifty i want to see some negative price action confirmation before shorting right here with without uh, confirmation if you short you'll probably able to capture more points but your probability of uh, being right is lower but if you do it with confirmation right maybe you'll miss a little bit of a point uh, a few points you will lose 100 points or something but it's a better you're more sure about the trade so Will I, do I want to short Nifty here? Yes. Do I think it's a rational idea? Really depends. I want to see some confirmation of a negative price action. So my bias right now, at least <coughs> near the top of the channel, is clearly bearish. Uh, so I would wait and watch Nifty for a good opportunity to short verdict. I would uh, take a trade of long dollar even at a you know a nerf gun point not a real gun point i mean dollar looks interesting it's just that you have to uh, time it correctly and buy it on the right dip i still think dollar is not going down dollar is probably likely to test 80 again um, so net 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 our verdict is kal event hai. please look at the event ka direction and take a trade according to the event direction don't gamble uh, like aruna saying simple things work very happily you can trade after the direction is clear after the event <coughs> that's on nifty bank nifty is less clear so let's wait and watch what is the scene because today it's a kind of a bearish engulfing but the simplest trade to do now i think is dollar clean trend clean buy on dips it is giving ample dips also today evening's uh, sudden move seemed like an intervention from the central bank so but i don't think they can do it forever and chances are that we'll again see <coughs> the intention failing and uh, dollar likely going up right so net net waiting to short nifty happy to long dollar don't want to touch bank nifty will trade after rbi policy tomorrow this is my overall stand right so on that note i'll take your leave tomorrow's rba policy please keep positions like please keep risk defined don't gamble don't get into situations where you'll have anxiety most important thing is peace of mind trading and all comes later so we'll see you again on sunday with <coughs> our post rbi analysis on a very crucial junction of where the market is most likely to go after all this. So till then, you know, as usual, no recommendation, no advice, no tips. Please do your own risk management. And uh, most importantly, please take care and keep your capital safe. I'll see you again on Sunday. Till then, bye.